Okay, I just got off a call with someone and I was trying to help them do some sort of like journey map. Uh, they had a Google slide and it was going to be crazy and they were trying to move things around and it's just the wrong tool for the, the, like the type of work they were doing, which is like the early stage of like deciding what's actually going to go on it and what maybe their columns and like maybe what, what rows they might have and which characters they need to address. And so I recommend they use TL Draw, which is one of my favorite tools at the moment. And I wanted to share with you guys uh, the things that I wanted her to know and I, what I want you to know about this tool. So let's jump into it. And what's cool about it is that it's browser based. And so everything here, you know, you could use somewhere else, just like Figma, you're going to have uh, pages and resources. Uh, it's going to be able to get in small sizes. I mean, look at how nice this tool is. He, he's a, this is, I believe one guy built this. Um, and look at this nice width. He's got all the tools tucked away at such a small, I mean, what, what size is this supporting? You know, it's like, it's like 590 pixels wide and it's letting us look at that. So the most important things that I think we should run through, and maybe I will put some chapter markers in this, uh, will be the fact that you can also save these. Okay, let's jump, let's maybe let's, let's cut right there. So what can you do with TL Draw? You can work in the browser, but you can also save locally, which is kind of nice because you will want to save this work. You can lose it um, kind of easily. It doesn't They don't have a big robust Figma-like thing yet. It's super quick, super um, lightweight, and that's what's really the beauty of it. It's also kind of like napkin sketching. So sometimes, sometimes you lose a napkin. So do your drawing and then capture it elsewhere. You can copy the stuff as SVGs and PNGs and I don't know what to do with JSON files, but you can do, use that. I think this puts the background as transparent when you copy it, which would be cool. Um, the preferences, I do dark mode, of course. For, for some that are going to love this, you can go into focus mode and just work very, very, you know, serenely, which is nice. I probably won't use that because I use too many of the tools over here that I'm un that I need, I need to click, I guess. Uh, is there anything else in here? The grid's kind of nice. I mean, look how it just... Uh, reflected on both both views that's pretty cool so what I really love about it is it forces um, it forces like a hierarchy hierarchy let's do it like this and um, it helps you maintain consistency Ooh, I don't like what I just did these should be uh, left aligned cool is there anything else I quickly like of course, I love its speed. Speed is a feature, in case you disagree with me. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but man, something that's fast, I'm gonna jump to a lot more. It, it, um, oh, it follows, uh, like Figma's UX in a lot of ways. So, like, the, the zoom, shift one, you know, pulls me out like that. Shift one over there. Uh, shift two is gonna let me zoom to this piece. If I have another one down here, shift two, shift two, shift one pulls me out. Really nice to move around. Um, what I don't, I'll put it in red. What I don't like is it doesn't follow it exactly. So some of the Figma things are not followed, which is zoom does not equal no Z box zoom. I call it Z box zoom. Z box zoom is when I hold Z and then I draw a square and then I can zoom to it in Figma. It doesn't allow, it doesn't allow you to do that, but I think I think that could change. Okay, let's talk about forcing hierarchy. What's cool about forcing hierarchy is that let's put an extra large in purple, and then we'll go back to white. So what's nice about it is that you can go um, like heading one, left align, heading two, let's say, body, and caption course naturally I think you knew what I was gonna do small medium large it allows you to do this and it allows you to um, let's put them both purple it allows you to do this it also allows you to stretch them extra big if I need to break the rule I need to break the rule Ooh, red king <laughs> Breaking the rule, I can I can make it extra big, but otherwise it keeps me honest with my um, with my type. So anytime I'm probably going to work mostly like this, 
if I'm going to be working, and then I might go to, you know, I might go up and down size if I need to, which is which is really great. Okay, that's 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 forced hierarchy. Let's do another forced hierarchy, which might be using the colors. So we can do so many hierarchical ways of kind of forcing what we want the user to look at more. So let's looking just at these rectangles through one, we can do kind of the opacity naturally. Um, this stronger one, our eyeball is going to go there first, right? So we can, oh, let me, let me be a little bit more casual or more, more concise. You know, you can do it that way. You can put all of them as, what did I just do? Oh, you can bring them all up. Now let's change like maybe the stroke on some of them, you know, forcing hierarchy that way. Uh, where do we want our eye to go? Obviously, we know where it's going to go now. If you need to push it back again, you can you can mix and match. But it only gives you like so many um, levers to pull, which is really nice. Well, let's do some more gestalt stuff, right? Where you kind of like how many how many principles are we addressing here? That's awesome, right? Anything else? Um, I'm gonna stop there because I think that's enough. You can do other things, like let's say these were all like this and they were all like this you can go with these and change these into more sharp lines here um, you can this is all the examples I suppose maybe maybe that's so that would be oops these should all be like let's say they're all like that I might swap these just to put them in order. I believe this should be the order. Kind of from loosey goosey down to hard, rigid stuff, which is super cool. Um, of course, you could like, you know, match all of these by bringing them all down. I mean, you just have so many options with so few factors. It's really, really great. You could then, of course, grab all of these and then just switch them with color. So you can do a lot of really amazing stuff so, so quickly. So that is hierarchy. Consistency, uh, maybe it's kind of the same in the sense that maybe I just build myself a quick style guide on the side and then this is how I'm gonna work. And I just always use one of these styles that I've kind of you know, pre-built for myself. And speed. I mean, look how fast I'm like, stuff is stuff is being built. I mean, I'm so quick with this. A couple of ways. I guess let's let's mix these two. So speed and using Figma. When you get good at this stuff, you get really fast. The things that I'm doing that are making me really fast, like I said, are the zoom, shift one, shift two, back to shift one. The other things I'm doing are I'm trying. I'm duplicating. Let's say so. I'm holding Option as I click and drag or I'm holding uh, option and shift, which slides it really well. I think I had a kind of a cool moment in one of my previous videos where I had made this thing, I was pretending it was a frame from a MacBook. And as I moved it, I'm holding shift, you know, and like it just kind of, imagine recording your screen right now, showing someone how a user looked through the work, something like that. I mean, it's by adopting all of Figma's keys, you can learn to move quickly in both. This is kind of like baby Figma, and big Figma can be can can get slowed down when you're using a lot of libraries and all sorts of stuff, and you're navigating someone else's file. I like this because it's I feel like I'm using on my drawing on my own napkins. Oh, the last thing I want to show you, I think, is get comfortable with moving around and drawing things. I'm going to show you arrows next, and then the last thing I'm going to do is just maybe just draw by myself and you can just kind of watch me draw. So arrows are crazy in this tool. The reason why arrows are so crazy is because they have like some built-in um, functionality that you might not expect right away. Let's just put these all, you know, let's just call this, uh, you can double click in here, idea one. Let's just say I'm thinking of ideas or like opportunities, idea two. And um, I don't know, idea three. We're thinking about ideas and we don't really know what's gonna happen, but 
We do know our goal is, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm making this up really fast, but I'm just trying to show you arrows. So uh, let's just say this is, you know, legit and it's like, make us more money. It's green. What if idea one like leads to idea two? So you notice what happened there is that how quickly I was able to do that. And what if I'm not sure where idea one is? Maybe idea one leads to idea two and idea three is actually like a, you know, it's like a wild card. And idea three actually is like this. And then what if, oh, you know what? There's like a blocking. Well, what if we can go around that by doing idea four? So what I just did there was, oh, I, tried, I tried to Z-Box Zoom. What I just did there was something awesome, which is you can bend, you can bend these around by the center point without having to do all these anchor things. You can also grab not just the center, but you can kind of put this and permanently sort of lock it. Maybe like it's like, I don't know how he's doing this, but like the X, Y of this piece. So it's always gonna kind of hang out on the top. It's just, it's just frankly, it's just amazing that this arrow thing can do this. I mean, it gets, it's pretty amazing. So I think I'll stop there, but you can see how powerful this tool is and definitely check it out. It's really, really, really amazing, and I want to see uh, what you guys make with it. So maybe, you know, leave me a comment or uh, just ping me on Twitter or something. You know, you know, you know who it is, right? Dude is chill. Dude is chill. Dot com. Dude is chill. Whoop. There's me. Check out TL Draw. It rocks.